Preliminary systems check established. All systems nominal. Good day, sir. Good day, Jarvis. Access code file Sierra X Delta. Clearance code level 3. Accessing file archive. Quantum mechanics. Are you sure, sir? Absolutely. Quantum mechanics. The mere thought of it invokes feelings of both mystery and wonder in the unknown. We humans don't understand it completely, but we are capable of applying some of its working principles. We don't really get the why yet, but we are able to grasp onto some of the what. It truly is the edge of the unanswered. At its heart, quantum mechanics is the science of the very small. It is the proposition that down to its lowest level, the level of subatomic particles, nature behaves in very strange ways, ways that can defy conventional human wisdom. Some instances of this may lead to the possibility of objects being at two places at the same time, the existence of parallel universes where you are not yourself, and some cat that may be simultaneously dead and alive. Strange as it may sound, quantum mechanics plays a vital role in shaping the way the universe is ordered and how it behaves. One of the central guiding principles of quantum mechanics is the Heisenberg Uncertainty Principle, which states that the more you know the location of an object, the less you know of its momentum, and vice versa. What this means is that if I gauge with pinpoint precise accuracy the position of a subatomic particle, its direction becomes increasingly undetermined. How is this weird? Think of it this way. Imagine I had a tiny little cannon that I could aim and fire subatomic particles from, and at a certain time I fire this cannon in a particular direction. A microsecond later, I immediately measure the exact position of the object fired out of the cannon. As soon as I make that measurement on the quantum variable of the position of the object, the other quantum variable, in this case being the direction of which the object is traveling, becomes increasingly harder to find. There's always a level of uncertainty involved in any measurement. And because of this, the quantum world boils down to that of probabilities and infinite possibilities. Another important aspect of quantum mechanics is the concept of the probability wave a concept that is best explained through the use of the famous Schrodinger's equation. An equation little more than an inch long that can be considered as equally important as Newton's second law of motion, F equals to MA or Einstein's E equals to MC squared. Schrodinger's equation accurately describes the wave function of minuscule particles. It can subsequently be extended to explain and elaborate on the structure of the entire universe. Pretty mind-boggling stuff, but We'll reserve that for a later video. To truly illustrate the weirdness that is explained by this equation, I'll need two different classes of objects. I'll need a macroscopic object like this poorly drawn rock, and I'll need a microscopic object like this electron. Now by conventional wisdom, we know how a rock would behave when influenced by external forces. We know how it travels when it is thrown, and we know how it falls when it is dropped. But when contemplating the electron, here's where things get weird. It turns out, that the movement of the electron can be ascribed to not that of a solid particle, but that of a wave traveling from here to there. At points on the wave where the values are a maximum, such as at the crests and the troughs, lie the locations of where the electron is more likely to be found. And at the points of the wave where the values disappear, lie the locations of where the electron won't be found. You could then generalize that down at this level, existence itself fades in and out. Existence is waving, no pun intended. Schrodinger's equation derives its importance from its ability to describe the progress and evolution of this probability wave function over time. We've only begun to scratch the surface of the weird and fascinating world of quantum mechanics, but believe me, it gets stranger as you go down. It's like what old man Feynman once said, if you think you understand quantum mechanics, you don't understand quantum mechanics. But don't let that deter you. Some of the most important discoveries in science have been made by people who were just curious about how things worked. And for that matter, we don't really know where the exploration of the fundamental elements of nature will take us. Perhaps to the edge of infinity, or maybe even someday to a galaxy far, far away. But from what we've been able to piece together so far, 
we have discovered that what is real has the potential of being far stranger than what is imagined, and reality can be more than meets the eye. Logging you out, sir. I'm Son of Terra 92, and this has been a science epic video log. Peace.